All right, so I use the pizza example a lot with the combinations because it's a common example that we all understand because <clears throat> we all love pizza where order doesn't matter, right? If you ordered a pepperoni and sausage pizza and they deliver it to your house, you're not going to open it up and be like, oh my goodness, I'm calling up this place. They stink. I'm leaving a bad Yelp review. They gave me a sausage and pepperoni pizza. I asked for a pepperoni and sausage pizza, not sausage and pepperoni, all right? That would never happen because the order doesn't matter. So if you have uh, two toppings to choose from of these, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different toppings, all right, it would be six choose two. And you could type that into the calculator as NCR, six comma two, all right? And, but this one you can actually do by hand because the numbers are small. So it would be six factorial over six minus two, which is four factorial, times R, which is two factorial, all right, this part here would simplify to 6 times 5, and then that is just 2 times 1. So there's 15 different two-topping pizzas you can make if you have 6 toppings to choose from. Now, this example I'm going to spend a couple minutes on because there's two ways to do it, and it kind of shows how you can think of these problems different ways and still arrive at the same answer. All right, so let's do it the first way with combinations. So let's say I have a baseball team of 14 players, and at the end of practice, I need them to, I need three guys to pick up the bases, two guys to bring in the equipment to my car, all right, typo, car, car, and five players to rake, all right, and then everyone else could just go home. How many ways can you do this? So how many practices would we need in order to have a unique group to do each job exactly once, all right? So uh, let's start off with the three players I need to pick up the bases. Now the order doesn't matter. I know there's three different bases, but it's all the same base. They just go in different spots. So order doesn't matter there. So out of the 14 guys, choose three. Now once I choose those three guys, I don't need them to do another job. So I have 11 guys to choose from to bring in the equipment. So 11 guys left, and only two guys need to do that. So 11 choose two. Then... Um, of those 11, now there's, now there's nine guys left because two, two people of the 11 brought on the equipment, all right, to my car. So there's, I need five guys. So out of the nine left, I need five guys to rake, all right? And then the last four guys, all right, they could just go home. They're off the hook. So out of the four guys remaining, I choose all four of them to go home, all right? Now, uh, what does this equal? So I could just type that into the calculator, do like NCR parentheses 14 comma 3 times NCR parentheses 11 comma 2 and so on and so forth. All right, but if I were to write this out by hand, it'd be this and I'll pause the video to write this. So when we use the definition of a combination, all right, each I color coordinated it, um, it's going to look like that. Now when we multiply across, we can do a lot of canceling out, right? 11 factorial over 11 factorial is 1. Same thing with 9 over 9 factorial, 4 over 4 factorial, and 0 factorial. There's always one way to order nothing, so that's just equal to 1. So all this simplifies to this. 14 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 5 factorial times 4 factorial. Now that should look familiar um, as sort of a variation of the Mississippi rule. So um, how does that make sense? Well, you can think of this problem using the Mississippi rule. Here's how. So each of those black little dashes under each letter, think of them as like a player. So like this dash here is like player one, and that's player two, and that's player three, and so on. And the letter above them, so the number corresponds to like the position in the word, the letter corresponds to the job that they have to do. So like right now, uh, player one is going to bring pick up a base, because that's what B means. Now, if I switch player one and player two's job, it wouldn't make a difference. Just like in the word Canada, if I switched around the A's, it wouldn't make a difference. It's the same word. But if I switched, you know, player three's job with player four's job, now player three would be bringing in the equipment, and player four would be picking up the bases. So you can kind of uh, model this problem as a word with four different letters, where, you know, they repeat, you know, B repeats three times, E repeats twice, R repeats five times, and H repeats four times. And 
you're just looking at how many ways you can order it. So that's a Mississippi rule thing. So there's 14 letters total, and then you divide by the number of times each letter repeats. And that's the same exact answer as if we did it with combinations. So two different ways to do the same problem.